Today we're going to talk about staghorn ferns, how to take care of them, what they like to eat. We have this small staghorn that we would like to repot and start it on its journey of growing larger. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to start out with some sphagnum moss. This is a native, a native moss that grows uh, either in South America sometimes or it's found in Canada. It's a moss that grows underneath the water. It's harvested and then dried out, so we have to rehydrate it. So what we want to do is we want to put it in a bucket. We want to add some water to it. We want to uh, make sure we get it well soaked. Uh, one caution is I'm wearing gloves because there's a, there's a fungal disease called spore tr trichosis. Uh, not very common, but if you had a cut or something on your finger, you'd want to make sure you were taking the precaution wearing gloves. You're going to take the sphagnum moss and basically mold it. Use it as a liner. We have a wire basket here, or we could have used a wooden basket. I'm going to try the wire basket first. We're going to mold it right to the sides. We've, we've properly soaked it, and it forms a nice cushion along the side of, of the wire. Again, it doesn't matter if we're using wire. Are we using wood? You can actually take the, spag the uh, staghorn fern and put it on a piece of wood. But we're going to use this. We're going to mold it to the side. And some water squishing out here. We're just going to form it around the basket. We're using this to make a liner so we can put our staghorn fern inside of it. This will dry and compact very nicely and stay in, stay in place. And this will be the starting base for our little staghorn fern. We're going to take our fern now, take it out of the pot, place it in the center of this. If we were using a larger basket, we could, we could take some potting soil like this and put around it, but we've, we've got enough space. We don't have enough space here to have to deal with that. So we're gonna pack this in nice and tight. And this'll, this'll be how the staghorn fir, fern starts off on its journey. I'm gonna hang that up. When it dries out, you could take a pair of scissors and, and trim that, but over a period of time, the fern is gonna grow out over this basket and completely cover it. I've prepared this special Halloween treat for my staghorn. It's gonna be a creepy face peeking out for the trick-or-treaters when they come to my house. <laughs> 